Today's the day. I've received my first assignment. We're gonna make a delivery to a BJ's in suburban Cleveland tonight. I don't have to leave for another few hours, so I took a little walk up the road because the Wi-Fi at the terminal is apparently always overloaded and almost impossible to get on on weekends. So I came out here to the nearest Xfinity hotspot Luckily, it isn't raining yet. It's supposed to start raining in about an hour, so I'll have to hurry up and do everything I want to do on the Wi-Fi here. Here goes everything. We got our trailer picked up. Did all the pre-trip stuff we have to do in the Qualcomm. Scaled the load, made sure our axle weights are legal. Now it's time to hit the highway. We are on I-81 North, and seven miles we'll be getting on Take that to US 322. Then we'll be getting on I 80 West to go to Ohio. In five miles, you get exit six, seven via on the right, four, US 22 East, US 22 West, US 322 West, Cavalier Street, Lewistown, Pennsylvania 230 East, and State College then. After a quarter mile, stay left, 4, U.S. 22 West, U.S. 322 West, Lewistown, and State College. As you just heard, we're going to be getting on U.S. 22 in a few miles. And now we're on I-81 North. Eventually we'll be getting on I-80 West to go to Ohio. This is a mostly familiar route to me because I took mostly the same route when I was on my way from Philly to Wisconsin to start my time with Spiritus. But hopefully we will get a couple of new counties out of this trip. We are on 22 North heading toward I-80. Got some beautiful views of the Susquehanna River and the surrounding mountains. We are in Perry County. I've still never set foot in, only driven through. Planning to take my 30 minute break later along I 80 in western Pennsylvania, probably in either Mercer or Venango County. Dearly beloved 
transmission uh, with an automatic mountain driving is a very different experience and I did not have the benefit of doing that with an instructor in the passenger seat. But my guardian angel kept me safe. Didn't smell my brakes. Didn't have any near accidents. say my guardian angel prayer before I started out on this trip as I have gotten in the habit of saying every time I go anywhere in my car. It seems that my guardian angel was still watching out for me this time. As I said enough times when I was in a car not really bound to be in any significant danger that I had enough of those prayers saved up then. Guardian Angel listened to those prayers in the past and put them into effect in the present when I forgot to say it and really needed the prayers. Highest point on I-80 east of the Mississippi. I saw that sign for the first time when I was moving to Wisconsin. That road trip marked the beginning of an amazing life-changing experience beyond anything I ever could have imagined before going into it. I hope the same is true of this road trip. We made it to our rest area. We're still on I-80, mile marker 30 in Venango County. Got plenty of time to spare to Make it to our delivery, so I might stay here a little longer than the legal minimum 30 minutes. Hasn't been a perfect trip so far, but all things considered, a very, very good first career load. Hello, Ohio, again. Boy, am I looking forward to the first time I get to drive Max into a state I've never been to before. Nothing personal against Ohio, it's just I've been here before. This is not the most pleasant road for a trucker to be on at night. We're on US 422. Better for I-480. Schneider doesn't allow its drivers to incur tolls on the Ohio Turnpike because there are abundant alternate truck routes available along the whole length of it. So I'm going quite a ways on this 45 mile an hour road where engine brakes are not allowed. Welcome to the Cleveland metro area. We're about 10 miles away from our delivery in Middleburn Heights. And boy, am I ready to call it a night. Look at this dock that I had to back into for my very first career delivery. Hardly any room to pull around to do a sight side back. I came in from that side, then had to pull around this whole way. Try to wrap around so that I was going this way. Yeah, you always want to whenever possible when approaching a dock that you're backing into, approach it so that it's on your left so that when you're backing into it you can look out your driver's side window and see what you're doing. It's called a sight side back. You go the other way where the dock is on your right, if you pull up that's a blind side back and that is very hard to do and very dangerous. It should only be done when absolutely necessary. We're waiting for them to open up. Should be about five to ten more minutes. 
They need to come out here and they need to break the seal before I can open the doors and back all the way into the door. Well, I'm just glad we made it here safely. We are in Cuyahoga County, Ohio. That's the county Cleveland is in. I hope I don't have to move from this spot. <laughs> they said they had overnight parking available here for trucks. I hope that means I can just stay here in the dock and not have to pull around somewhere else to be parked for the night. And now we're being unloaded. Had to make a really hard backing maneuver to get in here on a rainy night. But there's so much more to be thankful for. Not all rookies are as fortunate as I was on their first day. And I've already got my assignment for tomorrow. I'm going to be picking up a load of toys 20 to 9 miles away from here and taking it to Frederick, Maryland. <sighs> Till next time, please keep me in your prayers. And, and now more than ever, I need them. And I'll keep you in my prayers. God bless.